Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode, so for Sunday, we got another review, Feast of the Day. Yeah, the something, Age of One. Something so fresh and so clean, clean. Clean, clean, Age yeah. of One, CMFT, uh-huh. Zoom. Yeah. Tropical. It's tropical. tropical. Yeah. Standing for comfort. Yeah, CMFT. Comfortable tropical, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's the the new Nike um, comfort range silhouette. Yeah. Amazing. For the, for the Jordan 1s. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great, great shoes. So let's get into it. Obviously, as you can see, the brown box with the black Nike swoosh. Yeah, original Nike box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Original Nike with box. Twist, with a twist. This seems to be the box for all of the CMFTs, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah. So, uh, this packaging is honestly something that we've never seen. Yeah, it's crazy. Usually, as you guys know, when you buy sneakers, the paper yeah. is one paper, you know, the, the, the paper inside the box. These ones, first of all, come with this, yeah. you know, and it has like all type of you know, drawings at the back. Yeah. That kind of explain. Hopefully, it, it you know focuses. Mm-hmm. Kind of explains the whole you know color is made of, and they're yeah. telling you the yeah. process of how they made it more comfortable than normal yeah. the Jordan ones. So this is dope. This is a dope touch. You know, yeah, incredible, like incredible um, touch that they added onto. Yeah. I mean, if you're interested into how the shoes yeah. are made, just Which read I up on here. It's gonna give you all the information. Yeah. Just like the video we once put out on the. Air Jordan 4s. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. The production of how they made shoes. Yeah. Incredible stuff. Like we said, you know, the wrapping packaging is different from normal shoes, and which I'm actually kind of, kind of excited about. I am a packaging person. But these guys come individually wrapped. Yeah. Shoes. So, Two it's kind of, of <laughs> you know, excuse, yeah. excuse the mess, obviously, yeah. of the set, but at this point, this is what we're dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, wow. beautiful shoe, truly, 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 man. I love these. I really, really love these. Yeah, I had to, I had to take them away from him. I really, really love these. Because I knew that if he took them home, he would have. <laughs> they wouldn't be on my feet. They would have been on his feet back. by now. <laughs> so now you guys are still seeing a fresh shoe. Yeah. Well, with this pair, the first thing that you notice is the difference in materials. Yeah. From the original. Jordan one silhouette. Yeah, with the leather. With the leather or this is not this obviously not completely leather. different. Completely different. They just it's a whole complete twist on the retro. Mm. It's 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 amazing. It's amazing. I mean and when I first saw these on picture, I kinda slept on them. I was just like I thought they were good. I thought they looked okay. Yeah. They I think they were, they looked like a real good pair. But as soon as I got them in hand, I was just like, whoa. Even the soul, the soul, soul. The soul of the day is really like, nice. Soul. <laughs> gotta get those so covered yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> these are great man and you can see over there we've got the, the 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 suede material and then over here the fibrous fabric i will say though i like these shoes and i like the zoom range that's come on the cmft zoom range mm-hmm. my problem though is the nike swoosh i don't really like how they've set it up i don't know if i would want it to have been Maybe the fabric is still fine, mm-hmm. but I wanted to be more, you know, indented. I wanted the swoosh to be on the shoe, mm-hmm. not in the shoe. Because so as like you can the wings see, logo. yeah, I wanted to be more like the wings logo. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because right now it's in the shoe. It's like a cutout. Yeah. So I would, I would rather prefer it to be more, you know, so that you can feel it. Yeah. But other than that, I really have yeah. no. Yeah, I, I think it's a great quality shoe. I mean, 100%. the stitching, a lot of work was done. Like. I was remember was saying incredible. The incredible only stuff. another another what disadvantage yeah. or con maybe Nike could have come with two sets of laces for these mm, mm, two mm, sets mm. of laces yeah, can so that you can have maybe the nice match yeah. yeah a variation would look good even Perhaps this, like put it purple or the apple, oh, this, 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 the apple yeah, blue the this apple, apple blue. blue would have been a really nice white echo blue lace you know that's the that's the thing that's in now so that would be another con that i would say about it yeah other than that man 
I can't, I'm a real big fan. <laughs> My father was complaining when I showed him mm. this whole, if you look at the, you know, it looks like the shoe is half done. Doesn't yeah. look like it's fully finished. But I'm a big fan of that. That's the actually that's the that's the design. Like something different and it's synonymous to the CMFT range. Yeah. It's the deconstructed well, actually, color. No, you see, that's where you're wrong. Yeah. Synonymous with the off-white ten range. Oh yeah, the that's where it came from yeah. first. Yeah, the deconstructed um, yeah. Uh, color with a padded uh, foam. Mm, even yes, even the tongue makes a lot of makes a lot of comfort over here. This is so much comfortable than yeah. the than the regular Air Jordan ones. Like, yeah. You can wear these all day and feel like you wear clouds yeah. and you got clouds in your feet. Now, if you watched our review last week of the Yeezy in Flames, mm. we'll put that you know the link up there, pop up in uh, right on the screen for you guys. Yeah. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. But if you do watch it, you'll see in our vlog that we did walk away with two pairs of shoes from Shelf Life that day. It was a, it was a good, good day. It was a good day. It was a good day. So it was Cube. a ice cube. <laughs> it was a W chain on the in flames. Yeah. On the Yeezys. Yeah. And while we were in line, we found out that there was a shock drop, a shock release. And yeah. these were the shock release. It was it was very funny because um we met this homie called Aiden. Yeah, Aiden, Aiden, shout Aiden. Out Aiden. Aiden. Yeah, I was in line there. We were waiting to go pick up the Yeezys that we, we had last week. Yeah. And then he's like, Are you guys in here for a pay? And I'm like, What well, pay? He's just like, Nah, there's a pay coming up. But I didn't pay attention to it. Only till we get inside there, we see everyone's just moving around with boxes. I'm like, yeah. Dude, what's happening? And um, the Yeezy, uh, Yeezy. Yeezy. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> Aiden go, you know, to one of the sales reps. Yeah. And Sales rep, he spoke to him a little bit. Sales rep went inside the storeroom, yeah. came out of the box. Yeah. So Moose followed suit. He went to the same sales rep. He's like, listen, uh, I want to pay. Yeah. And the guy looked at him, what size? Didn't even like, say anything. Yeah, he didn't say it's like what size. Went in, came out. Yeah. And we got the shoes. So what I would say is guys, check your social medias. Yeah. Because when I left home to go pick this man up so that we could go to Rosebank mm. to Shelf Life. Yeah. I actually, when I opened the gate, my phone vibrated. It was an uh, Instagram post from Shelf Life mm -hmm. that they had dropped these as a shock release. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go into Instagram to check the post, mm -hmm. right? So when we got there, we were surprised. But if I had read it beforehand, I would have really no came to him with the information. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I would say now. Yeah, yeah. Check your social medias. Guys. Yeah, and, and, and it's a really good thing what Shelf Life is doing. I mean, Trying to put some balance on it, you know, yeah. do the online raffle, do the in-store raffle. And, and the live shop. raffle. Yeah, and then, and then uh, shop drops. Just put keep, it out there. Keep the couch on his toes. Yeah, you know? keep the couch on his toes. I, I, I really like it. I really like yeah. it because, you know, it gives you a chance. I mean, it's about who's more aware. If exactly. you're aware, first come, first serve. And I feel like that's a bit more fair. That's a bit more that's fair. That's a bit more fair. I mean, we were at the live raffle for the Hyper Royals yeah, and the uh, uh, University the Blues. <laughs> that was crazy. It was but like insane. insane. If you haven't seen it, you know, we'll put that review up there. But if you, for me, right? Yeah. I love that vibe. Yeah. I was, yeah. when we were there, yeah. I was, it was really loving it. It's a great feeling because like, you were around everyone and was in the same harmony. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. Everyone is just, Expressing the same culture that we breathe in. Exactly. And, and it's, a, it, it, it's crazy to, to realize that how serious sneaker culture, sneaker culture is in South yeah. Africa because you could you could think, you nah, it. you could sleep on it, yeah. but it's, it is massive. But it even is massive. there's a lot of love out there. Even from that live raffle yeah. to the shock release, yeah. when we got you know to the store and yeah, we were yeah. standing outside and live, yeah, we, we started talking to people. people. Yeah, yeah, we started talking to people. You know? people over there. So, you know, if COVID wasn't a thing, definitely the culture would be alive and thriving on being with each other around each other you especially know, now people. because this year there's been a lot of pairs there's yeah. been a lot of really good pairs yeah. of shoes it was gonna be insane i mean all those things going all the way to like sneaker exchange yeah all that stuff that was gonna be great events so if you are watching this guys yeah i mean shelf life and shesha and all these stores were planning to do live raffles this year mm -hmm. But then with that hyper royal raffle that we went to, people were in social distancing, you know. So and they were asking, they were reminding people, guys, please social distance, please social distance. Because of that, cops were called, and now we don't get live raffles anymore for the rest of the year or like until so you know things get yeah. yeah. So just for the culture, be sensible, listen to it. I mean, you being closer to the door doesn't mean you're gonna get the shoot, yeah. right? It's all a raffle. You get the ticket, ticket has a number, and they draw it. 
being closer to the door, being bunched up doesn't mean you're gonna get the shoe. So mm-hmm. I hope it does come back. That's yeah. that's what I take away from it. Mm-hmm. I really do hope it does come back. Great experience. Yeah. yeah. So for this week, guys, we thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for next week. We're gonna have another banger, another dope, really, 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 really dope uh, episode for you guys. Weekly, we are here. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your sneaker loving friends. I pray my people live for as long as they want, not want for as long as they live. For this blessed Sunday, stay crib. Stay safe.